Okay. So, through the events that have transpired today, it's gotten me thinking a lot about my family situation. Um, here's the issue. On one hand, they've had nine freaking months to get used to this idea. Okay, my grandparents have technically had, like, three. So I give them a little bit of slack. Plus, they're old. They're gonna take one. But I'm at this impasse where... I love my family, and... Even though it's always been tense because I'm different, I need them, I crave their attention and support and them surrounding me. But this is getting freaking ridiculous. I mean, really. And, you know, every time it's a family get-together, it's some big event that I don't want to disturb, so, you know, I sit quiet and let them call me birth name and she and... I think that I'm going to have to give that up and just be a dick, essentially. And I, I know it's not being a dick, but I, I kind of view it as such, because I don't like to disrupt family events. My family events are, used to be a lot of fun. I mean, <laughs> they were a blast. And, on you know, on one hand, I... I want them to call me he and Tyler and see me as male. But I I can only... It's this really d delicate balance, you know. Every time I get together with them, I push their boundaries a little more and a little more. But I don't want to end up pushing so hard that they end up pushing back and pushing me away. I don't know. I mean, I've always been one to push boundaries, but I've never had to do so so delicately. And I mentioned in my last video that, you know, these next three months are, you know, a whole bunch of family get-togethers, my birthday included. And I'm... I've got some thoughts on my birthday. Um, a part of me wants to say, you know, Screw it. I, I'm not dealing with it. Because I really think that if they brought out that birthday cake with my birth name, or started giving me gifts with my birth name, I think I would stand up and walk out. And that would be a really assish thing to do. Uh, again, it's not, but it is complicated. So I think... I think that when it comes time for my birthday here in a couple days short of a month, when my mom asks me what I want to do, I'm, I think I'm going to tell her that all that I want for my birthday is for her dad and Kel to go out to dinner with me and Sam. In 22 years, my partner has never been welcome to family dinners. And I think that would be the best gift in the world. Because back to pushing too hard, you know, I, I told my grandparents I like women at the same time I told them I'm trans. We, I'm sure they knew, but, you know, that denial is a really powerful thing. And I just don't think it would go over well having Sam at the big family party. I'll talk to mom about it and see what she thinks. She's coming around more and more. She still hates it, but at least she'll talk to me about it. And dad's coming around more and more too. You know, after I left, I realized I wasn't sure. I never paid attention to family interactions. You know, when dad and grandpa, for example, or dad and my uncle say goodbye, do they hug or shake hands? And so I called dad and I was like, hey, you know, when you and Grandpa say goodbye, do you hug or do you shake hands? 
and no pause, no awkwardness about it. He was like, you know, we shake hands. I think Grandpa gets a hug on Christmas, but that's it. And these are these are my mom's parents that I'm talking about. Um, there's no in-law tension in my family, thank God. My my dad calls my mom's parents mom and dad just the same. So yeah, this whole mess has me thinking a lot about family and what I'm going to do about it. If any of you have been in similar situations and care to tell me how you handled it, let me know. I'll catch you later.